Hello, Mayo Church families and friends. I am so excited to welcome you into this new season of our church called Advent. We celebrate this season every year as we journey together on the road to Bethlehem and we wait and we count down for the birth of Jesus. And I have something that our church and our children's worship team has prepared for you to help you on your journey. Uh, when you're on a journey, you need to pack a bag, right? And so we packed a little bag for you as you journey in the season of Advent. This is what this little Advent kit looks like and I wanted to show you what's inside. So get ready to see. When you get your Advent kit, there are a few things that's gonna help you and your family make together if you don't already have one, or this can be just yours that you use, an Advent wreath. And you start with this circle. It's just a little plate. And then you add your greenery. You can just put it in the center like that. Or you might take a couple pieces of greenery and you might decorate it. You might even put your hand on it and cut out your hand and make little pine leaves to go around the edge, however you want to decorate your advent wreath. This is the greenery. And then you have four candles for your wreath, three purple, a candle that represents hope for the first Sunday of Advent, a candle that represents peace for the second Sunday of Advent, the candle that represents joy for the third Sunday of Advent. Let me look. And for the fourth Sunday of Advent, the candle that represents love, which is another purple candle. So three purple and one pink. And that makes your four Sundays of Advent. Pretty easy, right? On the first Sunday of Advent, you light just one candle. And on the second Sunday of Advent, you light two candles. On the third Sunday of Advent, you light, you guessed it, three candles. And on the fourth Sunday of Advent, you light four candles. And then on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, whichever you choose, you light the Christ candle that reminds us that the light of Christ has come into the world, is here to stay, and that Christ will come again. There are some other things in your Advent kit to help you. There's this booklet that we put together. You might want to color the front of it and make it your own. Inside are the stories of the four Sundays of Advent says, this is the season of Advent, the time we all get ready to celebrate the mystery of Christmas, the time we are all on the way to Bethlehem. And then we have special friends that come and show us the way. You might remember them if you've heard these stories before. But in the Advent book, each Sunday of Advent is a little reading for you to do with your family. And then on Christmas, a special reading for you to do together that will help your heart prepare to celebrate. There are a few other things inside your Advent kit, some treats for you, some candy canes, some fruit snacks, some Hershey Kisses, and some chocolate bells, some things to remind you of the sweetness of being part of our church family. And we are excited to be on this journey with you. I hope that you'll come to worship each Sunday and share in the lighting of the Advent candle time. And that you'll share this time with your family. So you can come by the church on Sunday at five o'clock. That's when our Advent season is going to begin with a special hanging of the green service. And you'll want to wear your coat because it's going to be outside this year. 
something very different. So I'm excited for this journey and I'm excited that you're coming. I wanna teach you a song to sing, a new song that you might not have heard before. It's called Emmanuel. And there are some motions, some sign language for the word Emmanuel. That's a very long word, kind of hard to say. It's a name for Jesus. It's a name for God. And we're gonna do this when we sing about God. We sing, be still and know that I am God. Do you remember that? That's the motion for God with us. Let's try that together. God with us. And that's how you say Emmanuel, because that's what that means. Emmanuel means God with us. Let's try it together. Emmanuel. One more time. Emmanuel. God with us. And the song goes like this. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, God with us, revealed in us, his name Try it one more time. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, God with us, revealed in us, his name called Emmanuel. And that's the mystery of Christmas, is that God came to be with us in the birth of his son, Jesus Christ. I'm excited for Advent, and I hope you're excited too. I hope you're working to make your home special places that you can be in worship together. I'll see you soon, and I love you very much.